Jason Bones of Spectres. So, you want to be a paranormal investigator? Part 4. Okay, so. One thing that many people don't think about, and you should probably think about this uh, quite a bit. How do you start each investigation? How do you end each investigation? Okay. Because many people don't realize the types of things that could happen if you don't do things properly. Uh, for instance, having spirits go through your equipment affecting your audience at home, they're just getting sick and headaches, all that kind of stuff. All these type of things can be avoided, okay, very simply. But you have to set the ground rules, you have to, you have to do things proper right from the get-go. Now, you understand that I have a strange belief system is encompasses a lot of different things okay so you'll have to tailor make this to you and your group whatever the beliefs are because that's where your strengths are right anyway I'm gonna tell you uh, how we op how I open everything up with the group and stuff and um, as I go through it, uh, at the end, at the end of each little bit, I'll go back and explain little bits and pieces. Okay. So whenever we start a new place, a new investigation, we always say, "Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, bless us and keep us safe." Self-explanatory. Then I'll say the four directions for keeping us grounded and to keeping us getting lost. Right. I believe in the four directions for guidance. Right. Uh, I thank you to the four colors for clarity. Four colors is actually an energy force in our belief. I believe in the four colors. Okay, and then I say thank you to the animal spirits for showing us the path and keeping the trail safe. Because the animal spirits that walk with me, my totems and my animal spirits and that, uh, they help guide me and they help protect me. And they, you know, they let me know if something's getting close. They, they let me know if... Uh, there's a block in the path or whatever. And then I say thank you to the elementals for their strength. Because elementals are ancient and they're very, very strong. And water, air, earth, I mean, come on, fire. These things are powerful, powerful strengths, you know. And they're not negative and they're not positive. They're perfectly balanced. So it's a good thing to have. And then I say thank you to the good spirits for lighting the way. All right, so the good spirits are there to help you, and you're there to help the good spirits. So thank you to the good spirits for lighting the way. And then I say thank you to my guides, and my grandfathers, and my grandmothers for the wisdom. So these are the, these are the things I thank, and what I thank them for, before I start each message. That way I know they're with me while I'm going on my mission. So in my belief system, I know they're with me when, and with the co-crew, when we go out on an investigation. We say the St. Michael's Prayer. Uh, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Then, of course, the All-Father prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not in the nation, but deliver us from evil. The power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, these are... This part here, okay, right from where I started till now, you are going to have to tailor make for yourself. Things I believe, okay, they're not necessarily the things you believe, okay, so, and that's okay, that, that's perfectly fine, but what you have to do is set up your own beginning of what you believe. The difference is what makes us better, so, uh, so basically the point is you got to make your power structure this is this what this is this protects you and your team before you do anything okay so you have to make your own protection before any um, 
investigation. Don't walk in there without protecting yourself and protecting you because it, it only takes a second for one of them to grab control, okay? So you go to a real, real nasty place and you haven't protected yourselves, you haven't done anything, and one of them happens to somehow either by jumping them or impulse thinking or anything, what if one of your team returns and hits the other team member or stabs them or does it worse, right? Because of something nasty got control just for that second, right? So you want to protect yourself from that sort of thing. Um, 99 times of 100, that would never happen, right? But why would you take the chance? So do your protective stuff before you do anything else. Okay, so now that's all done. This is what we do, and feel free to do this, okay? Laying out of food. Now, a lot of times we put oranges cut in four because oranges is both food and drink for the spirits. Now, they don't physically take it, but the energy from it gives them a lot of energy to do stuff for you, and plus it shows respect, right? So, you're going to somebody's place, you say, here's some food, here's some drink, may we sit and talk? Can we visit, you know? It's better than going over there and demanding answers. Show some respect. So sometimes I'll put out some tobacco with it. Sometimes, you know, it just depends what you feel. It doesn't have to be an orange. It could be anything. It could be uh, chocolate. It could be candy bars. It could be anything that you think the spirits might enjoy. What feels right for you. For me, it's fruit. And uh, sometimes I'll bring like an extra cup of coffee or an apples or whatever you know just depends what you feel like at the time sometimes it depends what you have because you're just sharing your food with them right so it's that too anyway so you lay out food you do a prayer of offering and say I give you this food to give you strength that you may take this energy from this food and if you wish to communicate with us and if you wish to interact with us we would appreciate it right uh, so please enjoy the food that we give to you. It's just called being polite and respectable. And then you state your intentions, okay? I've come here, or we've come here to communicate, uh, to collect evidence. Uh, we don't want to harm you. We don't want you to harm us, you know. And then you say this, and most people don't even think about this. You are not to attach to me, any of my people, or use any of my equipment to travel through. Don't forget, spirits are energy. If you're live streaming, that is like a power plant of energy. They can slip right through there, right? They're energy too. So they can ride that energy and go to someone else's place. This is very common sense, right? It just makes sure that on the out chance that some of them want to go for a ride, they won't be riding on your car or they won't be riding your equipment. None of my equipment for travel. And when you're leaving, sage around the entire area that you've investigated. Not in the area, around the outside edge, around the outside border. Sage it. Because you're not saging to offend the spirits, you're not saging to harm the spirits. And you even say that when you're doing it. When you're leaving, you stage outside the investigation and you state any doors that we may have opened are now closed. This stage is not to harm any spirits, but to close any gates. And they may not follow us. Right? And then you can sage each other. And when you do that, say you are now cleansed and free of any attachments from this location. And then, uh, then you can say, no, don't forget to say this investigation is closed, this communication is closed. Thank you for helping us. Goodbye. All right? And then you may say your closing prayer, uh, whatever your closing prayer is. So when you, when you start doing your investigations, when you're going out, remember, okay? And state what gives you strength. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, protect us, and then whatever else you believe in, you can put in there, okay? Um, and then you can say the, the if you believe in it, you can say the uh, 
Michael Archangel prayer, and you can say the the Holy Father prayer, Father in Heaven prayer. Um, and after that, you know, give out your food, your offering, state your intentions and everything else. And then when you leave, sage around the outside area, sage each other and say everything is now closed. It's a very important lesson, okay? It's, it's one that most people don't think of. But you got to keep in mind, you are dealing in the spirit world. If you're going to be, if you're going to be a paranormal investigator, okay, common sense. If you're going to be a paranormal investigator, you're dealing with the spirit world. So you must deal with your own spirit and your own beliefs. Because your physical body can't do anything. You can't punch them. You can't do anything to them. You must be prepared on their level as well as your own level, right? So if you're going to deal with the paranormal, you got to be able to deal with your own beliefs. Um, don't go there blind and don't go there stupid. Okay? Simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now remember, take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Watch your six. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.